since the discussions, the deliberations and negotiations under the CFTA started, some of us, right from the word go, believed that we could not wait for every country to be ready before we implement the AFCFTA. And we held on to that belief. And the last person that I spoke with was with His Excellency President Paul Kagame in June during the show. And I mentioned to him that Your Excellency, with the political will and your support, can we come together, those countries that are ready for the CFTA to take off? And he told me, I think you are right. So I wasn't so surprised a few weeks after that conversation, and I heard that this important, significant step was being launched in Accra. And I want Your Excellency, through you, to thank the Secretary General and the entire Secretariat of the CFTA for the wonderful job that they have done. This is the most significant step as far as the success of the African continental free trade in, uh, is concerned. And I'm very grateful for that. Between Ghana and Kenya, I think our relations date back to our first president, President Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and President Jomo Kenyatta. They work so well together. And since then, our relations have evolved. But it is important for us to underscore the point that excellent political relations is not enough. It must be translated to affect the economic dimension of our relations. So what we are witnessing today is exactly what we expect, that the political impetus should lead us to an economic improvement. Excellency, I don't think we need that much support from elsewhere to ensure the success and the effective implementation of the African continental free trade era. We need two things, demonstrable political will and commitment. Once we can get these two from across the continent, nobody can stop Africans from realizing the full benefit and the potential of the CFTA.